Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day and a huge shout out to everyone on this channel for doing the work, for being a warrior and being strong and thank you again for all the beautiful pictures you've been sending me, I've been sharing a lot on the community post, obviously I can't share all of them but I do appreciate all of them and look what I found yesterday I was having a clear out yesterday and I found this top of baby Yoda and I shared that beautiful picture that our soul sister Karina sent to me of baby Yoda holding the crystal because baby Yoda is so cute and so powerful and is one of our channel mascots here and we've got baby Yoda right here right now sending you some guru energy, some wisdom, some knowledge, some power so drink that in today so I've got a really powerful message that's come through from heaven and I'd love to share it with you today. So I'm going to be using two decks of cards, the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot and the messages from your angels deck. But I've got a message for you first and it's so beautiful. And I've got two cards that I've been inspired to show you. So most of you watching right now are here because you want to know what's going on in your connection. You want union. You want to be in a relationship with your divine masculine or your feminine. You want to be on purpose, working for heaven, doing something for humanity. And you have a mission together. Some of you are in separation. You haven't heard from your twin for a long time. It's painful, but you're learning to let go with the help of heaven. Some of you are in communication with your twin. And it's back and forth, it's not quite what you want, but at least it's communication. And some of you are in some form of a relationship. Maybe you're even moving close to union, or you're in an outer union, or you're feeling that you are in union. Whatever stage you are in, this message is for you, because all paths lead home. And this was really shown to me yesterday. All paths lead home. Now, the angels want you to remember that whatever path you take, whatever path your divine masculine takes, all paths lead home. That means sometimes you take the direct route to union and other times you go all around the reeking, or as I call it, the scenic route. And off on the scenic route, you notice what's going on. You may have other experiences with other people, with other situations, but all paths lead home. So some masculines will take the fast route and other masculines will take the longer route. But you've signed up for this before you were incarnated into this physical path. So the angels are saying to you, the scenic route is beautiful because it's where you learn and grow and it's where you understand and the fast route it can be quite boring because you don't learn what you're meant to learn and this was really shown to me yesterday yesterday I had to go to town and I was doing some Christmas shopping because my divine masculine George Blue Eyes Tarot is away right now and he's back tomorrow so I've had a taste of separation this week too and it's hurt but I've learned how to control it when I was in previous separations. So it's been easy to bear. And you're learning right now that this journey can be easy to bear when you step into your divine feminine power. And that doesn't mean you're sugarcoating it. It means you're experiencing it in your power and it makes it easier to take. It means you handle it because you handle your emotions. Because you're learning right now to master your emotions. Even if you get tears, even if it hurts, even if you go through pain, you learn to trust the universe. And the message coming through today from your twin flame is trust me. Trust me. Even when things seem like they're not going in the right direction, trust me. And this was shown to me yesterday in the physical. Because I went shopping and there's two routes that take me to where I want to go. It's about a 20 minute drive from my home to where I want to go. And both routes take the same amount of time. But one route takes longer because there's more traffic. Or it could be seen as the scenic route or the long way round. And I got a taxi or a cab to where I wanted to go. And I said to the driver, please, can you take me the scenic route? So I told him where I wanted to go. And he got triggered. He got really triggered. <clears throat> 
in the closing throat chakras I'm talking about it because they're explaining that sometimes when something doesn't agree with you personally you get triggered so your throat chakra can block up because it doesn't resonate with you it doesn't feel right to you and you feel like all this energy wants to explode so you want to shout and scream and this driver said why why are we going to go that way it takes longer there's more traffic that way can't we go the direct route and I said no I want to go the scenic route and he's getting paid anyway right so we went the scenic route and yes there was a few traffic lights which I found fascinating considering the message of the day was about traffic lights and about moving through green lights and all these things so there was traffic lights there was people around but it was more beautiful and halfway through he said to me I'm sorry for shouting he said why did you want to come this way and I said because I'll learn more this way there's a more scenic route and they're giving me tear energy as I'm talking about this I know this will really resonate with you so the point is you're going to get where you're going anyway and it's going to take the right amount of time anyway so don't get triggered by the time it takes because yes, you could take the direct route, but that direct route is on the A50 and it's just filled with other cars. It's just a straight road. There's nothing to see. Whereas when you go the scenic route, there's green grass, there's houses, there's beauty and there's a lot of diversity and there's a lot of change. And there's a lot of things to look at and experience. So going that way may take a bit longer because it may be a detour, but it's more interesting and I'll learn more. You learn more on the scenic route. So if your masculine is going the long way around, it's because they're learning what they need to learn for their soul growth and expansion. And they are asking you to trust them right now because all paths lead home. So the point of the story is whatever way you go, you're going to get to union. Whatever time it takes, you will be in union, but you must trust and keep the faith. So powerful. Now, while I was in that car, a song came up, a song, and it was Tina Turner, What's Love Got To Do With It? And this is a song I've heard many times, but I've never really took the lyrics in properly until yesterday. And the angels have been prompting me to talk about it, so I've printed the lyrics up. And this was showing me on this journey exactly what the masculines are going through. So I'm going to share this with you. So this is Tina Turner, What's Love Got To Do With It? A song you've probably heard many times. You must understand through the touch of your hand makes my pulse react. So your masculine saying whenever we're together, my pulse reacts. It's the firework effect. I feel what you feel. That it's only the thrill of boy meeting girl opposites attract. Now remember, it doesn't matter if you're a man or woman. It doesn't matter if it's a same sex connection or a straight connection. It's about the connection of the masculine and the feminine. And the opposites attract because of all the things that seem to be in the way. It's physical. So it's a physical feeling that you feel, a physical sensation. Which means you feel it everywhere, but it tingles all through your body. You feel like you've come home when you connect with each other. And your mask is going to say, it's a physical thing. You can tell. So even if they're hiding it from you, you tell by their body, by their physical appearance, what they do. You can tell by the way they're looking at you. And we talked about this yesterday, the masculine hungering for the divine feminine, salivating, a lot of wants, this powerful, passionate, sexual intellectually dynamic connection it gets them on every level because they desire you on every level it's only logical that you must try to ignore that it means more than that so what this is saying is the masculines are trying to work it out through logic not love so before they become aware and most of the masculines are now aware but before they're aware, when they're hiding from the connection, they're in logic. It's only logical. 
what is this connection? So they're trying to work out exactly what it is. And you must try to ignore that it means more. So your masculine is trying to ignore the fact that it means more, which means they're trying to ignore the fact that it's this magical, spiritual, twin flame, soul love connection. They're trying to work it out. So they say, well, what's love got to do with it? What's love but a second-hand emotion? Which means they've been hurt in the past. They've been hurt. They've been through struggle. Plus the message is second-hand emotion. That's about the second hand on a clock. So it means it doesn't matter how long it takes because all paths lead home. You'll always be guided where you're meant to go. If it's meant for you, it will be for you. And your masculine is working this out. What's love got to do with it? And who needs a heart when a heart can be broken? So your masculine saying, I'm afraid of you hurting my heart. I'm afraid of you breaking me. I'm afraid of being vulnerable. I'm afraid. So this whole message here is about fear. And when this came on the radio in that car yesterday, I just had complete angel bumps because I saw this song in a totally different way than I've ever viewed it before. Because you could think, oh, it's about, it's not about love. What's love got to do with it? Okay, this person is saying they don't love this person. It's not that at all. It's saying they're trying to understand what the love is. And they're afraid of the love hurting them. It may seem to you that I'm acting confused when you're close to me. I'm singing it in my mind. Now, you can be close to your twin and be a million miles apart. But when you're close, when you're in their proximity, whether that be energetically or physically, you may feel like they're confused about things. If I tend to look dazed, I read it someplace, I've got cause to be, there's a name for it. So this is your masculine saying, well, it's because I'm understanding that it's a twin flame love. There's a name for it, it's twin flames. And if I look dazed, it's because I'm, I'm trying to work it all out. I am confused, it is confusing. When I stand next to you, I feel this love and it overpowers me and it makes me feel vulnerable and I don't know what to do. So your mask is saying to you, wow, I'm trying to work it all out. There's a phrase that fits, but whatever the reason you do it for me. So your masculine is saying, I'm trying to work out the phrase that fits this connection. I'm trying to place what it is and work it all out and put all the pieces of the jigsaw together. But you do it for me, whatever it is. So your masculine is saying, you're the one for me, whatever it is. Please trust me right now because all paths lead home. What's love got to do with it? It's a second hand emotion. I've been afraid of having my heart broken. I've been taking on a new direction. So your mask is saying to you, I'm taking on a new direction. I'm seeing things now from a different perception. I'm understanding. I'm taking a new route. I'm making decisions. But I have to say, I've been thinking about my own protection. And it scares me to feel this way. And that's the truth. So your masculine saying, I've been thinking about my own protection. I'm putting up my walls. I'm blocking you, ghosting you, ignoring you because I'm afraid of my feelings. I'm afraid of the way you make me feel. I'm afraid. I'm with that karmic person because it's easier than me being with you because you make me face myself. But I know now that I need to change my life. I don't want to be with that person. I don't want to do that thing. I want to be with you because you are my heart and you break my heart. And it breaks my heart not being with you. And you break my heart in two so I can learn and grow and evolve and become who I'm truly meant to be. Just channel that there. It scares me. It scares me to feel this way. And it scares me to feel that I'm hurting you with my actions, with my confusion, with the things that I do. And I'm scared and vulnerable and afraid of losing you. And I'm asking you to trust me right now because my path will lead me to you. Because all paths lead home. Powerful. What's love but a sweet old-fashioned notion? So your masculine's trying to work it all out right now. What's love got to do with it? So powerful. The other thing that came through yesterday, I received some post and look what came through. Are you feline lucky? 
So this is luck is on your side. This is showing you you are strong and powerful. And we've got the luck of the Irish there. Maybe there's an Irish connection with you. But I spoke about shamrocks the other day. Shamrocks being a sign of luck on the way. And there they are. Lucky shamrocks. So there's beautiful power here. Power and change. Things falling into place. And we don't sugarcoat things on this channel. We build warriors. We build divine feminines who come here confused and a bit broken and scared and afraid into divine warriors. So you start to master your life. You start to master your emotions. You master your journey and you realise that all paths lead home. So you start to trust your twin. You start to release fear. You start to call on heaven because you understand that you are safe and protected and all is well. That's what this channel's about. That's what this community's about. And if you've been guided here, you're ready to move towards union. You're ready for union because union is here now, in this moment. Everything you're learning now is going to prepare you for union and it's going to prepare you to help others come into union because that's also part of your job. So let's do this then. Thank you, angels. What's going on with the feminines today, please? What do we need to know, please, for the divine feminines today? What do we need to know? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. What do we need to know for the masculines today? And what do we need to know for this amazing journey? Because every day I'm shuffling. What do we need to know for the feminines today? Wow, okay. What do we need to know for the divine masculines today? And the journey. What do we need to know? Now, I have got a bigger version of this deck, but I pinched this from George because it's got masculine energy on it. And it's just helped me to channel that message. So there you go. So masculines then, look at this. We've got the three of pentacles. This is the masculine, the feminine, and the connection with the divine. So this is showing you the moving forward. Progress has been made. And they are working together as a team with you on the higher realms to come into union. Wow, we've got temperance, patience. Why? Because all paths lead home. And they are being asked to trust the universe and they are asking you to trust them. So this is about patience, calm, steady progress. And we've got Grace here and Antoinette. Look at this powerful message here. This is the message from above to have grace, to help heal this situation. See the other person's point of view with compassion. And we're learning about compassion. Quan Yin came through this week for us. This is the school of life. In September, we're understanding that we are learning lessons. And by the way, I've started recording the October horoscopes. And wow, powerful things. Communication flowing in, ultimatums, decisions. It's going to be a powerful one. So everything we learn now will help us to handle October. We're learning and growing. And your masculine right now is learning compassion. They know they've done you wrong, divine feminine. They know they've hurt you. And they're doing something about it. They're finding the answers, the solutions. They're coming towards you with apology and asking you to trust them with grace. So they are feeling more blessed, more graceful. They're starting to understand and comprehend what this journey is. With that Tina Turner song, What's Love Got To Do With It? They're starting to make sense of it all. They're gaining wisdom. They're gaining strength. They're gaining knowledge. And they're understanding things on a deeper level. So to bring in healing, to heal this situation, to heal this connection, to heal their heart, to heal their love with you, to be healed, ready for union, see the other person's point of view with compassion. So they are seeing things now from a different perception. They're understanding how they've hurt you and what they've done and they want to change it. And feminines, look at this, you've got the knight of wands. This is your masculine moving forward. This is action. This is forward motion in the fall, which is this time now. Moving into October energy, November, December. Between now and then, huge changes, shifts going on because it's all in the hands of destiny. It's all meant to be. You've got the wheel of fortune. So you're taking control right now, understanding that all paths lead home, that everything has a reason and everything has a time. So you're trusting more now. 
and you've got Rochelle. As you honour and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Prosperity. So this is showing you you're following your intuition. You're following your heart. Why? Because your heart knows the way. It doesn't matter what other people tell you, what resonates is in your heart. That's how you channel messages. That's how you channel your truth. That's how you understand by going with what you feel because it's always real. And you've got Caressa here. You are at the end of a cycle in your life. That means you're at the end of this struggle and you're moving now into this power energy of union. You're at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step because happiness awaits you now. So Divine Feminine, you're in the interim period between union, well, reunion and union. But you're in this interim period. It's no longer a separation. And you have to understand that because separation is illusion. You're not in separation separation is in your mind it's something you create in your mind you have the power to master your emotion you're in training for union you're not waiting you're working working for union working for yourself for humanity for heaven you're in service to heaven because you're doing what you need to do and someone asked me yesterday what's that black blob on your finger it's a cross tattoo why because i'm married to heaven because my job is to heal you and to prepare you guys for union. And so many of you guys have come into union since you've been watching this channel. It blows my mind when you guys send me pictures and talk about your future and how beautiful it is. And it gives me tears. And you feel this energy when you're connecting because you know it's possible. So don't listen to anyone who says to you, union is not possible, it never happens, because I'm in union and it's proof that it's possible. I never thought it could happen to me all the times I was in pain in the separation, but I learned to be strong. And that's what this week's taught me too, that I am strong now because it is like I'm in separation because George has been away for a week and we haven't had much contact. He's with his family. I don't want to bother him. We've sent the odd text here and there, but I haven't been craving his energy the way I would have done before because I've been working on self, allowing it to unfold, trusting that it will come back when he's ready and when it's meant to and it's meant to be. So it's been easier to cope with. And yes, I felt that void in my heart and I've missed him. But I know it's okay and I haven't let fear take over. Why? Because there's a reunion. They're giving me fear. I know some of you are releasing fear watching this video. And when you burp and release it, it heals it. Why? Because there's a reunion coming. Look at this for the journey. Celebrations. Reunion. Coming together. Again, we've got the three cups there. So you're feeling it coming. You know it's coming. For some of you, it's coming within three hours. For some of you, three days. For some of you, three weeks. And for some of you, three months. Okay, three years too long. Yesterday, I spoke about 2023 and it triggered people. And what I was saying in that message yesterday, please forgive me, is that what you learn now, you'll take forward on your path to union, which means in 2023, you're going to be healing the world about forgiveness. It doesn't mean that's when you're coming into union. And, you know, many of you took it the right way. I know that. But still, people get triggered by these things. You have to release the when and know that it's all in divine timing, whether it be three hours, three days, three weeks, three months, three years. Who cares as long as you come into union? All paths lead home. That taxi driver got triggered because he had to go the long way round. And it still took the same amount of time anyway. He was still getting paid anyway. He still got the end result, which was being paid. The end result is union. The end result is being together. Because there is hope for the future. You've got the star. You are the star that guides your twin home. So shine bright like the sun and know that you are safe because there is hope here. And you've been shown you can't get bigger signs than that, that union is coming, that communication is coming. And this is why today your masculine is saying to you, Divine Feminine, trust me, because all paths lead home. So bring him 
balance wow you just block throat chakra bring in balance okay so throat chakra it's being cleared it's being cleansed right now to bring in balance to bring in understanding so they can speak their truth so you can speak yours even if your voice shakes we've got francesca what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. So be negative about the journey, how much time it's taking. The pain, the struggle, what's gone on is negativity. You have to rise out of that. And that's what you learn here on the channel. Because you don't learn it, you remember it because it's already in you. Because you're just as powerful as me. And all paths lead home, we are one. We're all energy. It doesn't matter what age we are. It doesn't matter where we live in the world. It doesn't matter what the colour of our skin is. We are all one. And we all matter. And we're all strong. And we all know the truth that we are leading ourselves in the right direction. That Archangel Michael and all of heaven has got our back. Saying to you, get up soldier. Get up warrior. You can do this. You are not broken. You are whole. You are strong. You are ready. You are ready for for success so what do you desire you desire union so don't let anything knock you down and take you into negativity even your twin flame so don't take things personally rise up and know that they are working out what their heart is where their heart lives they're working it all out they're understanding this what's love got to do with it everything because love conquers all look at this we've got wow i mean all here look at that you can't write this stuff i've got archangel michael and archangel Raphael. i've got angel bumps the two big guns of heaven which means the two most powerful archangels surrounding this journey saying to you all is well you are safe you are being healed how powerful is that you can't write this stuff archangel Raphael, the healer of heaven saying to you i am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others you are a healer like me and you are you are a healer you are here to heal the world to heal humanity and so is your twin you're on a mission so archangel Raphael is healing you bringing in physical healing so you raise your vibration so you feel better so you trust in yourself and archangel Michael saying to you I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. So this is about the changes you're making to be together. This is about cutting the cords. This is about your masculine releasing karmic situations. This is about you, divine feminine, releasing the struggle and surrendering and letting go of the pain. And when you let go, you don't move on. You release the struggle. You release the blame. You forgive. You face a new chapter fearlessly knowing that you are safe and you are complete and you are whole. And that separation is an illusion. It's a trick of the mind archangel michael and archangel Raphael, giving you the power giving you the courage the strength the protection giving you the power to know that you are safe and loved and all is well and there's nothing to fear and archangel Raphael, giving you energy boosting your energy helping you to feel safe in your physical body where you live knowing that you can survive that you are healthy that all is well and that your body is a divine vessel for you so you're being guided to nourish yourself and look after yourself and treat yourself well so it's showing you all past lead home everything is moving you forward right now your masculine saying trust me all past lead home have a great day, sending you so much love. Hopefully see you at the live Love Scopes later and I'll see you soon.